My Lord, my Lord, my Lord. You say, why are they rejoicing? My Lord, because that song is personal. You say, when I knelt. <laughs> my Lord, when I knelt. Y'all don't know how I was. Amen. I was messed up. I was bound. My mind was all confused. But when I knelt, something happened. Thank the Lord. When I knelt, the blood fell. Then it said, sin lost the battle. Amen. Sin lost the battle. Amen. The devil might got lost the battle that day. He said, I got her. She's done. I got him. He's done. There's no hope. But my God, out of somewhere, some liquids applied, showed up. Some blood came from somewhere. Amen. And the power of God said, loose her. Loose him and let him go. When I knelt, the blood fell. Sin lost the battle. My Lord, the lamb hath prevailed. We're thankful that the blood of Jesus is still able to save and keep. Matthew chapter number three, verse number six. Matthew chapter number three, verse number six. And were baptized of him in the Jordan, confessing their sins. Started verse number five. Then went out to him Jerusalem. And all Judea and all the regions round about Jordan. This is John the Baptist preaching the everlasting gospel. Repent for the kingdom. The kingdom of God is at hand. The kingdom of heaven is at hand. And people began to respond to the gospel. What a beautiful sight when the gospel message goes out. You can be saved. You simply repent. Turn from your sins. You can be saved. saved. Brought back into the oneness with God. Many responded, and they began to be baptized. Come on and read. But when he saw many of the Pharisees and the Sadducees come to his baptism. When he saw many of the Pharisees, the religious leaders up under the Jewish system, and the Sadducees, other leaders, very distinguished individuals coming to his baptism, saying that we want to be baptized, John. We want to be baptized by John the Baptist. Come on. He said unto them. He said unto them. O generation of vipers. O generation of vipers. Who have warned you. Who has warned you. To flee from the wrath to come. To flee from the wrath to come. Bring forth therefore fruits. It wasn't necessarily that they were Pharisees and Sadducees. That eliminated them from being saved. Because we know a man. Whosoever will let him. Come. Whosoever will let him come. In fact we have many testimonies of those. That were of the Jewish system that received salvation. So it was not impossible for a Pharisee or a Sadducee. In other words, just because you were highly exalted in the religious system, that did not disqualify you from humbling yourself and receiving salvation. You say, Brother Lee, give us an example for that. I will. There was a road, and that road was called Damascus. And at noonday, the sun shone. It was brighter than the, a light shone, and it was brighter than the noonday sun. Amen. And he heard a voice. And that voice said, Saul, Saul, why persecutest thou me? It is hard for thee to what? Kick against the pricks. You know what kicking against the pricks is? Is that the Holy Ghost is dealing with you and dealing with you. And you got your chest stuck out. You think I got it going on. I'm good. You may have. You think you got it going on. But every once in a while, the Holy Ghost will deal with you. Maybe it's a dream. Maybe it's a sermon. But the Holy Ghost will let you know, like the message a few weeks ago, get off the throne. Get your prideful self off the throne. You think you got it going on. You got it all figured out. You, you are nothing. Humble yourself. I got a plan for you. Or you might be like Jonah running from God. You think you about to go do this. I'm going to start a business or, or what's your plan for your future? Oh, well, now I'm going to go away to school and I'm going to be this, that, you know, or I'm going to get this loan and I'm going to do, oh, sophisticated. Oh, you got it all figured out, my God. But guess what? There might be a call on your life. Amen. And when there's a call on your life and you find yourself going to do what you do, Jonah, he went down to the dock. Then he went down in the boat. Then he went down in the, my God, over the side of the water. Then he went down in the bottom of the water. Then he went down down to the bottom of the belly of the fish. Amen. Down, down, down. When you run from God, amen, you're not going up. 
Amen. You're going down. You may have money in your pocket, but you're going down. You may have a degree, but you're going down. The peace, the Bible said the wicked are as a troubled sea that cannot rest. Amen. What, my God? You can't fully rest, my God. Why? Because your life is not really put together. You're building your life on sinking sand. You're not building your life on a sure foundation on Jesus Christ. Amen. So he said here, my God, when you run from God, God, you're going down. But thank God when he humbled himself, when he was in the bottom of the belly of the fish, he humbled himself. Thank God. Amen. Sometimes you got to go way down. But if you humble yourself, it said he told the fish, spit him out. He came up out of the mouth of the fish. He came up out of the water. Amen. He came up, my God, up, up, up to go on his assignment to Nineveh. So here we're thankful. And I was thinking of this scripture the other day, saints. Somebody here this morning needs to be saved. Somebody this morning needs to be saved. This morning in this service, somebody needs to give their life to God. God has been dealing with you. God got a call on your life. You're out there in sin. Somebody tuning in this morning. Maybe it's a backslider. You need to come back home. It's time. The water is troubled. Other people are being saved. God is calling you. It's time. To come back home. Well, it said, come unto me, all you that labor and are heavy laden. Here you are out there laboring, trying to make life work, trying to figure it out, trying to find peace. Just laboring, just trying to go to here and go there, wearing yourself out. But he said, come unto me, all you that labor and are heavy laden. When you labor, look at the puzzle. You labor out there in sin, trying to make life work, trying to figure it out, trying to find peace, joy, trying to find that girl, trying to find that. You're laboring, you're laboring, you're laboring. Every time you labor out there in sin, the guilt of everything you involve yourself in comes up on you. Labor, you're getting heavy, heavy. That's why you got to do something. Eventually, you're going to have to do something to get yourself lifted up. You're going to need a little pick-me-up. That's why you smoke so much weed, you need to pick me up. That's why you're drinking all the time. You need to pass. Why, you, why can't you stay with one girl? Why can't you wait till you get married? You need to pick me up. You got to get it. It said, come unto me, all you that labor. And because you're laboring out there in sin, all the guilt of sin is weighing you down and are heavy laden. Now you got all this guilt on you. You could try to put your head up all you want. You could try to say what you want. Listen, how much pleasure and freedom can you have? You're on your way to hell. I ain't got to say nothing else. I don't care if you're driving a Bentley, you're on your way to hell. Yes, amen. Can you imagine if you're driving on this highway, you know, in, in, in a few miles, at any time. They say, where are you headed? You know, you ask somebody, where you headed? You, stop at, you may say, you stop at a, 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 a rest area, you get somebody, yeah, man, where y'all headed? Oh, we headed to Pennsylvania, where y'all headed? We're going to Atlanta, where y'all going? We're going down to Miami, where y'all going? To hell. You got to go to sleep with that? I'm on my way to hell. If these clouds split, if he just happened to come back before this altar call, that's why we don't have no program in the church of God. You feel the Holy Ghost dealing with you, come down to an altar of prayer, you go in that prayer room, you go right now. God may come back before the meeting is over or the self service can shift and go in another direction. He dealing with you. Now you get up and walk to an altar. You get up, walk to the prayer room and say, brother, hold on. God has already been dealing with me. He's already been dealing with me. I want to be saved. I want to give my life. So here it said, come unto me, all you that labor and are heavy laden. And that's the beauty of it. I'll give you rest. I told one person, getting saved is like taking a deep breath. See, you mean you're trying to figure it out. You're fighting God. You're fighting convey. You're trying to make life work. You're trying to, you're involved in stuff where you always, you, you. I ain't got to keep fighting. I ain't got to figure out how I'm going to get out this mess. I, I can just, I can relax. I come unto me, all you that labor. And are heavy laden with the guilt of your laboring. And I'll give you rest. Somebody this morning to come. Well, they came to John the Baptist baptism. They said, we want to be baptized. He said, man, you can't get baptized. He said, first bring forth fruit. See, this is not babbling. Let me just teach for a moment. You know what babbling is? False religion. In the Tower of Babel. You know what the Tower of Babel is? The Tower of Babel. They tried to make another way to heaven. They said, you know what? We're going to make our own way to heaven. They basically built a tower that's going to reach heaven. They kept, they was getting far with it. 
God said, look at these foolish individuals. You're trying to find your own way to heaven. He said, I'm going to break up their languages. He bought confusion. And then they couldn't work together. So it was left undone. Babylon will say, come on up. We want to build the church. Come on up. All the doors of the church are open. You just say this, say these words. And they came to John the Baptist's baptism. And they said, we want to be baptized. John the Baptist said, no. First, what, Brother Frank? First, show fruits. Meet First, for repentance. show us, bring forth fruit. Meet for repentance that show that you're really sorry. If you want to be saved, you cannot be saved and of the world. You cannot be in the church and in the world. You can't serve God and the devil. You got to break. In other words, he said, if you want to get saved with an old church of God message, you got to break up with the devil. You can't stay with the devil. You got to repent. Broken contrary. Let God know you're sorry. Second Corinthians 7, 1, don't go there. It said, godly sorrow work is repentance. My God. That's why folk think they're going to get saved on their deathbed at the last minute or think they're going to be in an airplane. Airplane is going down. Uh, a pilot comes on the thing. Okay, uh, we have uh, about five minutes. We're over the Atlantic Ocean. We're out of gas. Uh, we're going down. Uh, say a prayer. Um, I'm going to try to land it on the water, but we're going too fast. Um, um, this is the best I can do. Lord, uh, right before you hit the water. Lord, please forgive me, God. I'm, I'm sorry. Please forgive me, God. I'm ready to get saved. You ain't going to hear nothing. God, I'm in a car slipping over. I want to get saved. No, you don't understand. You don't get saved because you're scared you're about to go to hell. You got to be broken. You got to have godly sorrow. I am sorry. No, you're sorry you're about to go to hell. You got to be sorry that you did me wrong. You got to be sorry for the sins you committed. They didn't bring those. They wouldn't meet the conditions. And that's what we're preaching on this morning. We're going to focus on this second service on after the conditions are met. But we're focusing on how conditions got to be met before you can get the blessing that God got for you. He got a blessing for you. He got great plans, plans for you. But there's conditions that got to be met. Here, John the Baptist said, I'm starting out as a church of God preacher, bro. You got to meet the conditions. You got to be broken and contrite. Psalms 37, uh, 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 17, it said that uh, broken and contrite. You got to be broken and contrite. And then in 2 Corinthians 7, 1, it said that, my God, you got to be godly sorrow, work of the repentance. So here he taught that conditions got to be met. But if you meet those conditions, if you s- help me this morning after the conditions are met, if you meet those conditions, I don't care what you bound by. That's right. I don't care how long God, you've amen. been bound by that. Amen. I, listen, don't worry about how I'm going to deal with this. If I get saved, how I'm going to deal with that. And let me take you a step further. You might not think, well, I ain't got a mind to go to church or I don't have a mind to go uh, 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 or I still got a mind to go to the party. I used to think I was going to get saved and I would have to sit in my bed at night while all my boys is not safe, still going with the girls, going to the park. We're going to Canada. We're doing that. And I would have to sit on my bed and I'd be like, I can't go with y'all boys. I, I got saved last week. I can't go. I didn't understand the power of the mind being changed. The Bible said, therefore, if any man be in Christ, he's a new creature. My God, a new creation. When you meet the conditions, my God, you look, you unleash the blood. Something happens to you. Your mind is transformed. Your desires are transformed. Don't weep for me. I'm doing what I want to do. When your boys say, oh, girl, doing this, or oh, we got the weed, we got the fire. You can keep messing your body up, but my body is a temple of God. I'm doing what I want to do. Don't feel bad for me. See, I drunk from a well, and that well satisfied my soul. Thank God my soul is satisfied. Thank God I got joy. I got peace. My God, that passes understanding. I don't want to do that mess no more. I don't want to involve myself in that no more. See, when you meet the conditions, when you really come correctly, there's a transformation that takes for, uh, takes place. My God, and every chain is broken. All he's saying is meet the conditions. I got you. Meet the conditions. You can have it this morning. If you come down now and you just say, Lord, I'm willing to meet the conditions. You ain't got to work yourself out of your situation. That's God's job. He'll work yourself out of that. 
Amen. He'll figure, he'll bring you through all of that. You just meet the conditions. You ain't got to pay no money. You ain't got to give no offering. You just got to meet the conditions. You're willing to meet the conditions. I don't care if you're a backslider. If you're willing to meet the conditions, God will have mercy upon whom he'll have mercy. You ain't got to go out like that. You don't got to be out there wanting to be in. You can come home this morning. So there is principles throughout the scripture that God taught about meeting the condition. From the beginning with in the garden, you meet the condition. You can stay here forever. You'll never die. You'll never get sick. You'll never have to labor in childbirth. You never have to worry about gray hair. You ain't got to worry about this, that, and the other. Can you imagine that? Can you imagine just being, okay, so you get married, and a few months later, a few years later, whatever, you find out you're expecting. And then you're just like walking around the house one day, and you, it's the ninth month, and you're like eating maybe some on the grill, and you're outside on the grill, and they're out there playing ball or whatever in the backyard, and y'all just talking. You and your husband going for a walk. You go sit in the chair, and you're like, hold on, babe, I, I got I to sit in the chair for a minute. You just sit in the chair, and you lay back. Oh, wow, look. It's here. It's here. It's wonderful. Oh, it was so wonderful. All right, let's go back outside and play again. Let's just go. Oh, Adam and Eve. But they didn't meet the conditions. And you see what happened? Y'all see the world where we live in today? And you know about Cain and Abel. God, one of them, they both sacrificed. Only one was accepted. Because one didn't meet the conditions. See, saints, you cannot just bring any sacrifice and it just be accepted. All this all this praise, praise, praise. Over in Hebrews 13, go over there real quick, pray. Pray for me this morning, saints. Go to Hebrews. Go to verse 13, chapter 13, verse 15. Saints, we cannot. Those that are tuning in, don't let a false prophet tell you you can live any type of way. And God just accept it. Come on and read. By him, therefore. 13, 15. By him, therefore. Yes. Let us offer the sacrifice of praise to God continually. Hold on. So here he said, let us offer the sacrifice of praise. Praise, 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 praise. That's your sacrifice. But go ahead, Brother Frank. By him, therefore, let us offer the sacrifice of praise to God continually. Uh -huh. That is, yes. the fruit of our lips, giving yes. thanks to his name. So here, our lips, the fruit of our lips, the praise. But the lips that that sacrifice came from, that life had to be acceptable in order for that sacrifice the sacrifice, there's conditions that have to be met. They couldn't offer a lame, a broken, a this, that, and the other. Just any sacrifice. The fire wouldn't fall. That's why it's a bunch of false fire in Babylon today. That's why they got to have bands and this, that, and the other and drum you up and get you going. Come on, come on, let's pray. Let's pray, 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 let's pray. You can do what you want to do, but if you ain't living right, if your life is not right, then that sacrifice has not been accepted. He'd have to re uh, repent of Cain, my God. And say, Cain, you, you, I didn't accept your, it wasn't right. Abel's was, was right. So here we see the sacrifice has to be right. But if that sacrifice is made right, then God is able to bless at a high level. Now, let us look at Mark 9, verse 17. Come on and read. And one of the multitude answered and said, Master, uh -huh. I have bought unto thee my son, mm -hmm. which has a dumb spirit. My Lord. And wheresoever he taketh him, mm -hmm. he teareth him. My mind. And he foameth and gnashes with his teeth. My Lord. And pineth away. My God. And I spake to thy disciples that they should cast him out, and they could not. My Lord. He answered him and said, O faithless generation. Mm -hmm. How long shall I be with you? Uh -huh. How long shall I suffer you? My Lord. Bring him unto me. Come on. And they brought him unto him 
And when he saw him, straightway the spear tear him. Mm -hmm. And he fell on the ground and waddled foaming. That spirit recognized power. Read. And he asked the father, mm -hmm. how long is it ago since he came unto him? My Lord. Since this came unto him. Come on. And he said, of a child. Yes. And oft time it has cast him into the fire uh -huh. and into the water. So you got to understand spirits. It said off time. Not every time. Not all day. And then you see, see a spirit wants to destroy. That's why, Lord help us. Don't get old with an old spirit still in you. Mm. All right, let me just tell I'm telling you, you sit through altar call, altar call, altar call, but here you got this spirit that's in you. You know what's there. Okay, it said, oft times it, do what, Brother Frank? And oft times it have cast him into the fire. The fire? And into the water. Okay, those were two ways to destroy. One would burn you up, one would drown you. It said when it wasn't an opportunity to produce a certain level of destruction, it was dormant. But when it's seen, I can destroy him. Boom. Water. Let me try to drown her. See, sometimes the spirit won't manifest itself until it's a moment where it feels I could destroy her marriage right now. The way he's provoking her, the way he's going, I can destroy her salvation right now because he has a way of getting to her and getting up under her skin like nobody. I'm about to destroy her soul right now. If this happened at a grocery store, that person, they would keep going. But this situation, this situation, so I'm, a, 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 that, that's why the devil provokes at certain times. It's certain people that can get to you. He know I can work on, I can use them and get to her. To get to him. I can you off time. She ugly. She ugly. She ain't all the way. Ooh. Let me destroy. Let me off time. Let me bring that lust spirit up. Why did I say when you get older? Many times, right as a person is about to cross, all those spirits have been dormant. Let me manifest. It's been sisters on the on the big. Don't leave, Pastor him. Don't leave. This spirit, don't leave. This thing show up right at the end, been dormant all these years, lusting after a nurse. Here this old brother had to lust demons for years. Here this nurse. So oft times, but watch what he said, Brother Frank. Come on and read. And oft times it had cast him into the fire. Come on and read. And into the water to yes. destroy him. Yes. But if thou canst do anything, have compassion on us and help us. Come on. Jesus said unto him. Yes. If thou canst believe. If what? If thou canst believe. Yes. All things are possible to him that if, believe. If. In the event that. Allowing that. On the assumption that. On condition that. If. The word if defined. In the event that. It's a conjunction. Can be used to connect. Two clauses. To form a single sentence by presenting the conditional clause. So Jesus said, pray for me this morning, saints. If thou can believe, it don't matter what the situation is. If thou can believe, let me inspire faith this morning. You just meet the condition. If you ain't got the, it, it, it don't, the thing you after God for can be turned around. And reverse if thou can believe you ain't got to keep living with that condition you don't got to keep living in that situation my if god amen 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 thou can believe my god all things are possible if you have faith that god is able that your situation is included in the policy oh lord take my time this morning saints that your situation is included in the policy. See, there's policies that a person can have that if something happened to their house, if something happened to their car, if something happened to this, in that policy, as long as it's covered, whatever takes place, you're good. My God. If you got faith, my Lord, that whatever you're dealing with, my God, I don't care what situation it is. Amen. If you have faith that it is included in the policy, my Lord, 
If you real have faith, Lord, I believe, I believe that God. you included this in the policy. Amen. When you sealed it with your blood, a covenant, a testament must have a testator. Someone must die to bring validity. I believe your death brought validity to this policy. I believe every promise within it. My God, if Amen. my Lord, thou canst believe. Amen. If when the conditions are met. Go to Mark chapter 5, verse 24. And I'm going to deal with divine healing. Just pray for me for a moment, saints. Pray for me for a moment, my God. If we meet the conditions, there's no reason why we don't, my God, shouldn't receive 100% healing. If we meet the conditions, amen, God is able. Come on and read. And Jesus went with him. And Mark much people 5, followed him. Come on. And thronged him. Yes. And a certain woman which had an issue of blood 12 years. Uh-huh. And has suffered many things of many physicians. He said 12 years, letting you know I don't care how long it's been. How long that issue's been there. Hey Amen. Her issue was blood. What's your issue? My it don't God. matter what it is. Hers just happened to be blood. If it was something else, he would have said that. Hey Amen. Whatever your issue is, you don't have to learn to live with it. If we meet the conditions, saints of God, we don't have to go around. We thank God for the church of God where the fullness of the gospel is proclaimed. But it's not just proclaimed to preach a high standard. It's proclaimed to put us in position to receive the promises. Amen. If we, my God, can believe, if we meet the conditions, all things are possible. Whatever you're dealing with, you don't have to learn to live with that thing. Come on and read, brother. And has suffered many things of many physicians. Come on. Pride and a lot of different uh, uh, ways in which to bring the conclusion that she desired. Read. And has spent all that she had. Don't spend your money on physicians. Come on. You have a great physician. Read. And was nothing better. It's some people, my God, that thinks they pay $1,000 a month for pills. They got a pill for this, a pill for this. This pill helps because this pill is destroying this. So this pill is destroying their liver. So this pill helps their liver that's being destroyed. But this pill has sulfur in it. And that sulfur that has is such a high level that it's messing up her white blood cells. So they need this pill to help with the white blood cell because this pill helps this. But this is destroying the liver. So the white blood cells, if they don't go too high, they, uh, if the white blood cells overwork the heart, then the heart's going to overwork. It's going to make her have low blood pressure. So if they have low, I mean high blood pressure, so they need this pill to do the high blood pressure. But because they, the, uh, this pill is for high blood blood pressure is destroying the kidneys so they need this pill so they need that and this one got to help them go to sleep and this pill over here got to help them wake up they got a pill to go to sleep and a pill to wake up and I got to take this pill before I eat and this pill after I eat and this pill be a lot of that stuff is for money expose it so here God, amen. she spent all that she had she could have been saving that money didn't need that third job this, that, and the other. But only grew worse. Come on and read. But rather grew worse. Come on and read. When she had heard of Jesus. Yes. Came in the press behind. My Lord, yes. And touched his garment. Yes. She said, if I may but touch his clothes. My Lord. I shall be whole. Come on and read, brother. And straightway the fountains of Hold her blood on, were dried up. Hold on, my God, straightway. Amen. She had faith. But my God, she had to meet the conditions. What? There was a bunch of people that Jesus had already blessed and there was people all around him. She had an issue of blood, which was embarrassing, which was long term, which made her weak. But she still couldn't allow her weakened condition, couldn't allow, my God, the embarrassment. She had to press. Her meeting the conditions was pressing past some stuff. My God. Some folk, my God, Amen. can receive, my God, what God has for them. Amen. But they just got to press past some stuff. My God, it was embarrassing to have that condition. My God, so she had to press. Amen. She was weak. Your situation that you've been in could have left you weakened. But if you can press past unbelief, press past fear, no doubt the devil said, you're not going to be re received. They're going to dog you out. They're going to reject you. So there was fear. Amen. I don't care if I get rejected. I might get rejected, but I'm still going to Jesus. Amen. They may talk about me. They may look around me and see a little trail. See my trail. See what you want, my God. But amen. I'm pressing anyway. Call me rude. Say how you wait your turn. I'm not. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. You got to be dogged. Amen. To 
meet some conditions, people are laying back, hoping it's going to just jump on them, hoping that that thing going to change. You got to wake up. You got to get your my boxing Lord, gloves on. You got to fight for your healing. You got to fight, my God. Yes, by his stripes, we're healed. It's already been there, but we're living in an age of unbelief, an age of doubt, an age of this, that, and the other, of confusion. You got to press past, my God, doubt, press past confusion. My God, if you meet these conditions, you can receive your healing. My God, amen. God is able. He's the same yesterday, today, and forever. He is well able if the conditions are met. Amen. And that's what we're here for, to meet the conditions. They say, my God, you're going to be rejected. You ain't up to par. You Listen, the dogs on the, you give some dogs crumb. Give me some crumb. I, it don't matter, devil. Say what you want to say. My child going to be saved. Say what you want to say. My husband's going to be saved. Say what you want to say. I'm getting my healing. I'm not living with this thing all times, my God. I'm pressing past some stuff. Meeting that condition. My Meeting God. that condition. You even see one time in John 11 chapter. They was trying to get to Jesus. And they had to take the individual. He couldn't even get out the bed. They had to lift the bed. Let's go. Then they had to press past. You could only imagine the press. Then the house he was going in, hey man, because the bed was too big, they said, we ain't going to let that stop us. They went around, came up, tore the roof off the building. Let him down, my God. What? We got to meet the condition. Amen. We may got to tear some roofs off. I may got to pray for an hour tonight. Amen. We may have to lift you up. Amen. We may have to fast a couple days. Whatever it is, we got to meet the condition. It's not just going to magically jump off on you. Whatever I got to do. I got to meet the conditions, my God. What I'm dealing with, their situation was of such that they had to tear the roof off. They had to put forth great effort to meet that. No matter how challenging the situation may look to a natural eye, if the conditions, it said when he saw, verse number five, don't go there, but that's Mark chapter two. Go back to chapter two real quick. Just read this one verse. Mark chapter two, verse five. Come on and read. When Jesus saw their faith, when Jesus saw their faith, he said unto the sick of the palsy, he saw what? How did he see their faith? See, folk think faith is arbitrary. Just something. It said when he saw. Hold on. You could have stopped. You could have looked at the difficulty. You could have stopped praying about that situation. You could have. He said, but when Jesus saw their faith. Oh, Lord. Hold on. Faith. My situation is covered in the policy. He said all things are possible to them that believe. You see me. Pressing. You see me relentlessly holding on to my healing. You see me removing barriers out the way. Get the roof off. My God. No doubt they were singing and encouraging on the way to get him there. We're going to be healed. You're going to be healed. You're going to be healed. Oh, we're going to be healed. Look at y'all. Tearing root. Whoa. It said when he saw their faith. Now, it takes. Oh, Lord, just, just go with me for a moment. The Bible speaks about healing. In James chapter 5, it said, if any be sick among you, let him call for the elders of the church. Well, in one verse he said, if any have committed sin, he said, thou have committed sin, it shall be forgiven. Why did he, and he said, if any have fought, confess. Why did he tie all that into, why did he say call for the elders of the church? Why did he say call for, how you coming? How you been treating your wife? Is there anything in your life? Saints, pray for me this morning. Pray for me that if we get this message, I don't care if it's salvation, sanctification, I'll get to that in a minute. Healing. He said, hold on. It's, are you clear, clear? This is time to be humble. All right? Not letting the devil accuse you on just anything, but I'm saying seriously. Is there anything, anything hindering? One individual was uh, dealing with a condition. And he called the ministry to come in. And he said, all right, um, I'm not sure Brother Hampton was with us, but they, uh, he might have been, I'm not sure if he was with us. They was praying, and uh, matter of fact, I think he wasn't. And they said, uh, 
want to be uh, prayed for, we want to be this. And then they called back later, and they said, ministry, we got something. We've been taking all these, we've been doing all this. We, we just want to clear ourselves. We came and called like we really trust in God, but I'm just being honest. I want to be honest with you. And I'm not saying somebody whose faith is not there yet. I'm saying somebody that's perpetuating himself, portraying himself. Like they, they, they I'm 100%, I'm there, my faith is in order, praise God. And they had to come clean. And said, no, I'm just, being, I'm, I'm just gonna be honest. Hold on, okay, this condition, if I die, I gotta be honest. If I'm gonna get my healing, I gotta be honest. So I, I'm, I'm not, I'm not, I'm, I'm not going to sit here and act like I'm trusting God with all the saints and got y'all fasting and praying and got y'all doing all this. When the real truth is, I'm not what I portray. I'm, I'm not. So I'm asking God to forgive me. I'm asking the ministry to forgive me. And they end up getting blessed. God touched them. They're going about their business. But he said, say no joke. This ain't no just you can live any kind of way, shoddy, doing whatever, and just get, get sick. It's conditions. Their conditions treat your wife any kind of way. I ain't studying you, little girl. Wow. That's, you, 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 you're treating her like a weaker vessel. You ain't my, who you think you are? I'm a woman. I'm a W-O-M-E. I'm a woman. And woman. Honey, I want to apologize. What? I got seven credit cards that are all maxed out. I never told I mean, Let's go here. Let's go back here. Where are we at? Let me see. Uh, the church of God works. The Bible works. But saints, we can't be just so loose with this thing. We'll end up not receiving the blessings. But once we've met them. But let me show you. I'm sorry. So you have to have you have to be clear. Divine healing. Say call for the Let me check. I got to be clear. Are you clear? There's no secret sins or anything like that. How's your faith? I have faith. Then there needs to be in, inspiration present. See, sometimes your faith got to be inspired for your present situation. Look at chapter 9. We stand in Mark 9, 24. Let's line this up. Inspiration. And we're talking about present inspiration for your condition. Come on and read. That condition must be met. Come on and read. And straightway the father of the child cried out. Uh-huh. And said with tears, yes, Lord, I believe. Help thou my unbelief. Now, this is where he said that all things are possible to them that believe. Listen to what he said, though, saints. You got to get this and tie it in together. Don't read it independently. Tie it in together. Me and Bakari was talking about the Bible project. And this is where they're teaching uh, the Bible, not theology perspective, but they're teaching the Bible from a macro level and not a micro level. Like not a scripture level, but they're saying this is what the Bible is. This is the book of Genesis. Genesis means creation, means beginning. The book of beginnings, the beginnings of family, the beginning of the world, the beginning of sin, the beginning of this. Then mankind fell away and they went into sin. Then they needed to exit us out. So Exodus is the book. So they're breaking it down from a macro level. Sometimes when you're reading scripture, you got to take that one scripture and widen it out. So here he said, Lord, I believe, help my unbelief. Thou, help thou my unbelief. If you read up, he said, all things are possible. He said, I believe that. Pray for me. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Lord. Let's receive healing, saints. Let's receive victory, saints. He says, I believe. You just said. What, what is he talking about? You just said, all things are possible. I believe that you're able to do everything. I believe you open up the Red Sea. I, I die. If that's not true, I will face an assassin, but shoot me. I believe that he opened up the Red Sea. I believe that Daniel went into a lion's den and the lions did not touch him. I believe that. I believe that Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego went down into a fiery furnace. And I believe a fourth man went into that fire with them. I believe that Noah made a boat. It had never rained, but my God, his family got on that boat. Amen. I do not believe in evolution. I believe you created the world in seven days. I believe, I believe, I believe. He heard. This is chapter nine. He heard. I believe the woman of the issue, that was earlier. I, I believe. 
the child, the demon that was earlier. I believe you did it. I believe you're able. But let me show you, saints, how we got to pray for this message right here, meeting the conditions. This is what the saints of old had to deal with, with divine healing. He said, I believe that you're able. He said, but help thou mine unbelief. When you said that I can do all, all things are possible, I believe that you can do whatever. But Lord, in my situation I'm in right now, the devil is trying to make me think that you ain't getting this. It's easier for you to believe in Noah's Ark. It's easier for you to believe in the, in, the, in the fiery furnace. It's easier for you to believe, my God, sometimes, my God, in Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. But if you're going to be healed, if you're going to meet the condition, you got to believe the situation you're dealing with right now. Right now. It's easy for you to believe what he did for you 10 years ago, what he did for you seven months ago. But the devil wants you to prevent you from believing what you're dealing with right now is able to be eradicated. That's why he said, I believe, I believe you're the Messiah. I believe you're the promised Messiah. I believe that you walked on what? I believe. But I'm being real. My God. I'm being real. Help thou mine unbelief. The devil is trying to prevent me from believing in this situation I'm dealing with right now. So I got to meet that condition. Many people are meeting the condition because they believe. By his stripes were healed. They believe in divine healing. But they got to focus on believing in this situation. In this situation right here. Lord, I believe. That's why you got to have a track record. And you got to build up a resume. So when the devil comes with this situation, amen, you're able to go back and say, hold on, devil. You got to go to war with the devil. You got to go to war with, hold on, devil. Amen. God is able. He did this for me. He did this for me. And what we got right now, God is able. He speak, my God. Yes, he may want to tie my faith. Yes, he may want to test me. And that's all good. But God is able. What I have right now, I don't care if it's cancer. I don't care if it's a tumor. I don't care if it's high blood pressure. I don't care if it's a stroke. Whatever it is, Lord, God is able. Sometimes to get your faith inspired, you got to look around. Pray for me right now, saints. Why? Because sometimes you got to see the season that you're in to encourage you. It's easier to see sometime around you than to see what you're in yourself. So if you can look around and say, well, that's why you got to be up under inspiration. Amen. If you can see, hold on. God is saving here and saving there. Hold on. And saving. Hold on. God is healing. So also she had the same situation I had. And she walking around. Whoa, 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 whoa. Now you begin to learn. And you begin to take the word. He ain't no respected person. Amen. He blessing all around me. So therefore he's able. Amen. He has no respected person. I'm clear with God. Yes, my faith can be tried. He can try my faith sometimes. I'm okay, God. You try my faith. Amen. You tried my faith. Thank the Lord. Amen. But this too shall pass. My Amen. God. When he has tried me, I shall come forth. I may not feel him on my right. I may not feel him on my left. But we walk by faith and not by sight. I'm not going by how I feel. Do you feel any better? Listen, what you mean do I feel any better? I may not feel no better, but I'm going to keep marching. You say, Brother Lee, what you talking about? When he told my God Joshua and them soon as they came into Canaan, they went up to Jericho. He said, Mark around the wall seven days straight and seven on day one they saw no improvement day two they saw no improvement day three they saw no improvement day four they saw no improvement day seven my day day six they saw no improvement but, but they kept marching although they didn't see no improvement they kept believing they wouldn't stop they stayed after it they kept praying they didn't realize there wasn't no Ill improvement on the outside but on the inside every time they marched the inside of that wall was breaking up every Every time they marched inside the wall was breaking up. And on that seventh day, they marched seven times. And that wall came down. Keep marching. Keep my marching. God, Keep my God. marching. My Lord. God is able. My Lord, my Lord, my Lord. Amen. Amen. God is able. My God. Amen. They were meeting the Amen. conditions. He said, I want to see my God. if they're going to meet the conditions. This wall will come down. Come down it's my so God. big. It's so large. It, your son is coming home. Amen. Your child is going to be saved. Amen. Lord. Your body is going to be just keep marching. Just keep marching. Just keep marching. My God. You are keep reading the conditions. Amen. Just keep marching, my God. Keep believing, although you don't see. In spite of my God, my Lord. You meeting the conditions when you keep believing, although you don't see. 
No, but he said, I don't see the outcome. No, no, no. I don't even see no improvement. All right. My Lord. All right. But I'm still marching. My God. I'm still believing. I'm praising God like I already got my healing. I'm praising God like my daughter's already saved. My I'm God. praising Thank God you, like Thank my you, children Lord. already back home. I believe God. We in the midst of revival. God my is Lord. blessing. He ain't no respected person. He ain't gonna save her children and her children. I got mine. some children too. So I'm gonna keep marching. Amen. I'm gonna keep my God creating the atmosphere my god amen 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 my I'm gonna lord keep praying. my lord i'm gonna keep believing keep believing my god amen so when those conditions are met when we meet the condition that's we what inspiration is about amen. that's what being up under inspiration is about i don't want to be in no dead place i don't want to be nowhere that's lifeless amen nothing being done nobody being saved nobody being here no 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 i got to be somewhere where my faith is being inspired that will help me meet the conditions wow. i believe lord but Lord, help my, un my situation. Help me to believe for me. It's easier to believe for others. Come on, Brother Teasley. Praying for everybody else, but he wouldn't get his. Amen. But hold on. Sometimes it's easier to believe for others. But Lord, I want to believe for me. My God. I want to believe for me. So we feel inspired. Real quickly here, we just want to just touch. Souls being saved, but they got to be sanctified. And... The Bible said, tarry ye in Jerusalem till you be endued with power. You got to get the Holy Ghost, y'all. There's a work to be done. But if you don't get the Holy Ghost, you're going to be in trouble. The church going to be in trouble. So therefore, he said, tarry. He could have just gave him. Why didn't he just give it to him? Why didn't he just say, Holy Ghost? Oh, poof. He said, oh, no. Just like John the Baptist told you, in order to get saved, you got to meet the conditions. He said, the reason why many people aren't getting sanctified, they got to meet the conditions. He said, what? Over in Acts chapter 1, at verse number 3 or 4, whatever, it said that they were in the upper room. And they up there praying. They up there dealing with each other. They up there working it out. Praying, consecrating. Consecrating. They had to deal with two things. Their past, in order to get sanctified, write this down. You got to deal with two things, your past and your future. Let me break it down to you like this. They had, although they were saved, a part of them. It's called the old man in some cases. That they came to get Jesus. Peter said, man, I ain't getting Jesus. Give me my sword. I fight you. Get back. We went one place, they didn't accept them. They said, Lord, let's call down fire and burn them up. He said, man, you know not what spirit you of. Then it was one time, there was parents and then the, hey, can, can, can one of my sons be on the left and one be on the right? I want position. He said, you understand, man. He said, you understand, this is a humble way. This is a humble way. So there was things about their old man, self, self, self. And that's why he styled it. Paul said, for I am crucified with Christ. Nevertheless, I live, not I, but Christ lives in me. Amen. He styled it as a crucifixion. Why? Then he styled it as a beating. Because there was a death, a death. And crucifixion was not just a quick death. It was painful. You say, but Lee, why he saw this as a crucifixion? Why ain't many people getting sanctified? Bruh. The song said, when thy soul, the perfect price is paid. God was in the Holy Spirit. He know when. So they had to actually, all that old them. Yeah, man. Yep, yep, yep. I'm this, I'm that. Stay there. All that's the way they built themselves. All this had to go. Be burnt. All that mouth and that way about her. Nobody going to tell me. Be quiet. God going to tell you what to do. We at each other's feet. Don't walk around with your chip on your soul. That's the old you. That got to be burnt up. So here it said, meeting the condition. So the old, our old man is crucified with him. So it's got to be crucified. But not just that. Your future man got to be crucified. See, it ain't just the old man. Oh, your future. 
That's why he said, I, I, I beseech you therefore, brethren, by the mercy of God, that you present your body a living sacrifice. All your future. Lord, burn me up. It don't matter. I'm consecrating. It don't matter. You can't ask me. Don't ask me no more. Hey, what you plan to do with it? Bro, I've been bought with the price. Whatever God lead me to do. Whatever. You're talking about church of God message. Whatever God lead me to do. What about this right here? Whatever God lead me to do, bro. Everything's on the altar. I have no, I have no future. I have no plan. I don't know. I, and matter of fact, when he burned me up, he took all the ambition out of me. So all the ambition, I'm going to be, I'm a, bro, the only ambition I got, the only, my God, affection I got. See, ambition means I'm affectionate about it. See, the only affection I got now, the Bible says, set your affection on things above. I'm not affectionate about nothing on this earth. Brother, well, you could be next president. Brother, I couldn't, brother, please. Can souls get saved? Can I just be a piece, a part of the body of Christ to labor with God? I have no, I'm not, no, 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 no. That's why even some careers and some majors and minors and stuff like that, you better pray it through. You better pray it through. One individual was trying to go to university. I'm going to be in this program. I'm going to be in this thing. Yeah. And, and, it, and it was competitive. In order to get in that program, you, had to have, you, couldn't, you could not get a B. You could never have anything lower than the 3 8 on no test, on no pro, on none. And in order to give yourself to that capacity, it would take usually like 8 to 12 hours a day to get into this particular school within the university. And it was so competitive. Many, even Americans, didn't get in it. It was mostly foreigners because they had no really social life. But the Americans, you know, they wanted to go out and do this and do this, but yet, and they said, you know what? I'm getting that program. I'm going to I'm get it. And they lost their soul. Why? God said, you ain't going to give yourself to that like that. You barely got any energy left, any virtue left. Sanctification is no joke. But he said, if you meet the condition, if you meet the condition, the fire fall. I will flood your soul. When they met the condition, it said in Acts chapter 2, my God, the fire fell. The world erupted power for getting up out of wheelchairs my god thousands getting saved every day more people getting saved more people getting saved we're not talking about just a wave of inspiration but then it goes fire goes out no 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 it just kept growing and kept growing why because they met the conditions for the holy ghost to come and then they stayed on top of it they stayed in prayer they stayed daily going house to house they didn't have time for a whole bunch of other foolishness but my god they stayed daily before god God, they met the condition. We want the glory. We got to meet the conditions. Amen. Amen. It's got to be an inspiration. It's got to be a commitment. You want the glory in your home. Are you meeting the condition? What's your prayer life like? What's your sacrifice like? You want the glory down in your soul? This ain't cheap. Everybody with my own glory, I want power. They okay. You got to meet the condition. Many congregations try to get it. Many try to. But they want the world and they want this and they want to add people. They want this and the other. But they ain't praying and they ain't consecrating and this and the other. But God is saying today, I got something so great. If it's healing, just meet the condition. If it's sanctification, just meet the condition. If it's glory in the church, he said, just, just meet the condition. People say, why does Paul have so much glory? Man, read over in Corinthians when he said, he said, oft times fasting. Oft times persecuted and stripes more often. He was talking about, I'm speaking as a fool. You know what he's talking about, fool? Because he was comparing himself to the other ministers. He said, I know this is fool. Just suffer me. I know it's foolish, but just suffer me just to speak as a fool for a moment. Y'all want to question it? Y'all want to ask, why do I got the, why is all these churches? He said, bruh, in fasting more off and sacrificing more off. I'm on my face before God more often. I'm, 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 I'm putting my neck out there more often. I'm being dogged out for this God, but I'm not bagging out more often. They all departed and went back to the He went here. Paul exposed them. He said he went here. He went there. He went back to his mother. He went this and I stayed on the field by myself. You got to be independent. You said I want to be Sister Green. You know what she went through? You know what it took? For her to get that, she said, I want to labor. I want to do this, that, and the other. She wanted this, that, and the other. And she was being used, but she came to greater light. She was in a marriage, my God, that wasn't scriptural. And she said, I want to be viewed. I want to be this, this, that, and the other. And Brandon said, listen, who, how you deal with your marriage, the Holy Ghost got to deal with you. But what you do in this church, I'm going to deal with you. You're not going to get up and do nothing. You mess this whole thing up. There's a clarity that you got to have. There's a clarity you've got to have. I'm not taking your salvation. That's you and God. But there's a clarity before you get up here. 
And the Bible speaks about it. It said that my God, the elder must be a husband of one wife, this and the other. And that's our only real example of instructions on somebody being used. There wasn't a whole bunch of different auxiliaries in the church back then. They didn't have choirs and they had this and the other. So they gave us instructions on those offices and those people that were used. What? Bishops and also they had deacons, this and the other. They said these individuals, each one of them, they dealt with and they included marriage in there. You all want to meet the conditions. You want to meet the conditions. I got you. You go all the way with this thing. Sometimes you got to walk off some stuff. Now I'm in this job, I, you know, and God is moving me to another level. God is actually, he'll put his finger there. And you'll try to do everything you can <laughs> all around. I'm going to do this. I'm going to pray more. I'm going to do this. And I'm going to put it on tracks. And then I'm going to do this. And I'll pray, amen, before this and after this. And I'll help you. Go ahead. <laughs> go ahead. You know, you heard old Indian. Y'all know about old Indian when he, get, when he wanted to get the Holy Ghost? He wanted to get that anointing, that fire, and that power, and that glory. He said, oh, man, I want it, I want it. He said, I got my hatchet, that little axe thing. I can throw it over. He said, here it is. Fire didn't come. He said, man, my teepee, I love it. I got the best one to hold. He tore it down, came there, put his teepee on the altar. He said, my teepee, I love my teepee. Oh, my teepee. Fire didn't come. He took his arrow, born arrow. He said, my born arrow is so sharp. I got the stones on it that I took it. He put it born. Fire didn't come. Old man came and said, you. What? What? I put everything on the altar. It's not fire. He said, you. Old India. You got to get on the altar. You can put all the stuff you want to. Ain't no fire. You get false fire. Praise God. You see him in 30 days. But you want real fire that's going to endure. My God. That's going to go all the way with it. That you're going to have folk getting saved all over the place. You're going to have power. Don't compare yourself among nobody. You be, God may use you greater than you've ever seen anybody be used. Because the end time is, necessitates that. He's coming back for glory. But he's saying we got to meet the conditions. This morning we want to pray. We want to pray. The way God is working, if we keep meeting the conditions, if you're willing to meet the conditions, you're healing the gifts he has for you, salvation, sanctification, deliverance, whatever it may be, is yours for the asking. But we got to meet the conditions. Shall we stand? Time. Anybody want to be saved or prayed for? You come down, altars open, prayer room is open. God is faithful. God is faithful. I will not stop short, God. I will not. You can praise your seat as well. If you need to praise your seat, praise your seat. Amen. If you need special help, come forward. Lord, there's some conditions. There's some conditions that I want to make sure I meet. I'm not trying to stop short of it. Sometimes God will bring you to a place in your experience and just see where you're going to go. What you're going to do. You're going to back up or you're going to keep going. You can't just say, I'm going to go, I'm going to go. You got to meet the conditions. Uh, anybody else? You can come forward as a singer sing. A good fitting song. God is moving. God is working. God. As long as we meet the conditions, anybody faith been inspired to be healed? We want to see it. We want God to move and God to heal. And God is able, able. You can be anointed this morning, this morning, this morning. The situation that you're dealing with, God is able. God is able. We have to, my God, press past doubt. E. Faith Stewart, I think she was prayed for 26, seven times. My God, that last time, my God, she could have stopped. Maybe somebody this morning need to pray, Lord, help me to keep marching. I didn't back up, but I quit marching. I quit marching. I quit. I, I, no, I got to march. Keep going. Keep going. I'm still praying. I'm still expecting. I'm still before God. I'm not bagging up. I'm not looking over my shoulder at something else. And if he don't come by this time, I'm going to go. No, I, I, there is no other way. There is no other way. I'm not going nowhere else. He is the great physician. Anybody want to be saved this morning? Anybody ready to give their life to God? We want to invite you down to an altar to pray. Just come on down at this time. If you want to be saved, if you want to be saved, God dealt with you in the message. You're like Jonah running from God. Just come on down. You got to meet the conditions, but we'll help you pray. Just surrender. Say, Lord, I'm sorry. Is there anybody else? 
You can kneel at your seat or just come on up. Let us pray with you. My friend, meet the conditions. You'll never regret it. After you meet them, joy, peace, power, purpose. Come get your blessing. All to Jesus I I'm letting it all go. I'm letting it all go, Lord. To him I Lord, there's a power I got to get back. There's a glory I got to get back. Churches in Revelation, there was a power that they needed. And he said, I counsel thee, buy of me. You, they, they had to meet the conditions. Lord, there's some things I need to straighten out. My God, my fast life, I need to step back up. I want the power I once had. I want the glory I once had. Father, in the name of Jesus, Father, I want you to use me. Lord, I don't want to be my God left behind. I don't want to let my God, what I'm dealing with, what I'm going through, unbelief, cares of life. My God, problems with this, problems with that. Father, Father, I want to meet the condition. Lord, Lord, my prayer life. Father, I'm rededicating, I'm reconsecrating. We need you. God needs you. Backslider, come back this morning. Come back, backslider. Come back home. My God, we need you, friend. God has room at the cross. Just come back this morning. Just walk down and say, God, I'm sorry. I'm meeting the conditions. I believe you're dealing with me. I have faith in you. I'm willing to turn from everything. I will never get high again. I will never, my God, drink another bit of, my God, anything that's intoxicating. You said be sober. I will be sober, my God, for the rest of my life. Amen. Is there anybody else? Lord, I won't fornicate. I have, my God, I'm a fornicator. I will not fornicate again. I know it's wrong. I know it's not right. Father, if you forgive me, I will live for you. I will be the young man. Is there a young man? Is there a young woman that God is dealing with you? God is dealing with your heart that you want to come back home, that you want to come. Is there one? Just come on down. Many are kneeling. Is there anybody else? God, you're saving others. I want to surrender. Just take the first step, friend. Just take that first step. Just take that first step. God has been dealing with you. Amen. Before you came here, he's got plans for your life. You may say, I don't know all the nuances to being saved. I don't know the nuances to the Bible. Well, listen, you just deal with what you know. Just saying, Lord, the stuff I know that is wrong, I'm asking you to forgive me for that. And Lord, I won't do those anymore. And then you just be open to walk in light as he gives it to you. Amen. Just come, friend. You don't have to have it all figured out. You just got to come. You just got to walk. You got to be humble. You got to just say, Lord, I'm coming. Lord, I surrender. If you've been saved and you're looking for that breakthrough, you got to meet the conditions. Burn it up. Delete those numbers. Delete them. Don't toy with them. Burn them up. Delete them. Get rid of all that music. Get rid of all of it. Let it all go. Don't play with it. It's not enough not to just listen to it. you got to get rid of it. Why you know, Brother Lee? Because the Bible said if something offends you or offends the gospel, you got to cut it off and cast it far from you. You want that breakthrough. You want that power. It's here for your friend. Meet the condition. Meet the condition. You'll be thankful. After you meet that condition, my, 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 the Bible just breaking, just jumping off the page at you. Boom. Devotion. Woo. Fast life. Power. My, my, joy. You done met the condition. Look at you. Look at you. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. God going to bless you, friend. Many have kneeled, kneeled down and said, I meet the condition and God's going to bless you. Every head bowed, every head bowed. Father, we thank you for the moving of your spirit, the troubling of your water. Father, dear God, you're moving, dear God, in the land one more time. Father, we're living in the last days, my God, and you said there shall be glory. My God, thank you, Lord, for the glory. Father, we appreciate you for what you're doing. 
Father, we're thankful, dear God, for how you're touching and healing. Father, dear God, how you're sanctifying and saving. Lord, but this is just the tip of the iceberg. Father, we are greedy. This is not, this is just the beginning, Lord God. Father, if we meet the conditions, Father, there's no telling what you'll do. When the conditions are met, we unleash God. So, Lord, you heard, my God. Father, the word that went forth this morning. Father, we felt the inspiration. You know those that are in, uh, in need, dear God, of a breakthrough. In need of healing, Lord God. Father, the man said, Lord, I believe believe father you said all things are possible he said i believe that but lord help my unbelief i gotta still meet the condition for me there's i, I gotta still believe that you're willing to do it for me right now lord father there's some conditions among us father we pray they keep marching don't bag up don't stand still keep marching keep marching keep marching don't get discouraged just keep marching sometimes we wonder lord why if you're able lord god and i do have faith he said, keep marching. Keep the walls coming down. You're going to get your healing. Keep marching. Don't you get discouraged. Don't you look too close at the wall. Don't look at the, oh Lord, that's a, what a thought. Don't look at the waves and don't look at the wall. My, 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 oh Lord. Don't look at the waves and don't look at the wall. The waves will discourage you and the walls will too because you don't see no improvement. But just keep marching. There is improvement. It's coming down. Well, my children still acting up. Don't look at that wall. I still got this symptom. Don't look at that wall. Just keep marching. Stay. Look forward. Father, bless and help us, dear God. Father, even as a congregation, dear God, we want to make sure that we don't add or subtract. That we stay in position. That the conditions can be met among us for the miracle working power of God to continue to be manifested. We love you, Lord, from the depths of our heart. We appreciate you so much. Bless every soul that came out today, first service and second. All those that are kneeling, dear God, Father, bless them. Bless them, Lord. May they meet the condition to whatever request they have before you. Give them that peace. Give them that clarity of direction. Give them that breakthrough. Have your divine way. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Amen. Thank you. You may be seated briefly. Thank you for being an amazing, amazing audience. Amazing audience today. Anybody want to acknowledge anybody you can or anybody with a reflection, you can make it. Thank you for the visitors. Thank you for the Saints Press. We see you. We see you. We appreciate you greatly. Amen. All right, what we're going to do is go ahead and transition to dismissal. If there's anything that we need to acknowledge, we can acknowledge it. We're all set. Well, thank you, Saints. You've been an amazing audience. And thank all those who've been cleaning up, helping out between service. And we apologize slightly to those that came into this service. The first service went over a little bit, but that's just what happens in the church. That's Bob, that's my Bobby, amen. Praise the Lord, amen. Church of God haircut, glory be to God. Amen, Sister Willis is taking an owl. Glory, glory, glory. All right, we appreciate you. All right, we're gonna pray our dismissal. We're not gonna take it for granted. Just uh, before we dismiss, I was listening to uh, Raymond Jackson, old Church of God preacher, daughter passed, and I was listening to her funeral. And after I got done listening to it, it helped me understand why Brother Hampton had such a burden for apostasy. Why he was so stirred about any change, anything.
We don't want to change nothing, rearrange nothing. We love it the way it is. We thank God for his goodness. Amen. So we're going to look to God in prayer and he bless our dismissal. Thank the Lord for a rich day in Zion. All right, let's pray. Sister Shalina, if you wouldn't mind praying our dismissal. My, 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 my. My, my. When I knelt, 